So engaging our core is a huge part of being a slap hitter. So here are some core drills that you could do to help with kind of building your core, getting you really comfortable being in that crossover. And if I can't stress it enough, being in our crossover, we've got to be so comfortable because we spend a lot of time here doing drills. Also too, we've got to be super comfortable hitting in this position because all of our slaps happen in our crossover position. So the first core drill is just getting crossed over. You want to be super close to a wall, but they're just wall throws, but we're throwing them in our crossover position, but we're working on engaging our core. So all we're doing is we're making sure that we're starting crossed over and we're throwing. The next one is same thing. Now we're going to work on being crossed over, but engaging our core, but kind of going from a high to low. So now we're gonna have the ball be right above our shoulder. And now we're kind of slamming down right as if where our first bounce would be in front of home plate. So you could kind of do two ways. You can start stationary, just kind of resist and then you can actually follow through with your feet. And then the last thing is you can do crossover holds. You need a weighted med ball, something that's kind of heavy. Here you can just start crossed over and making sure that you have good balance. So you're just gonna lift off of that back leg and you can hold this for about 30 seconds to a minute, but challenge yourself, how long can you hold this? One hour later. Okay, so when we hold, we want to hold the ball behind us because we want to work on that rotation. So we always remember our upper body is kind of trying to stay squared. Our bottom half is kind of running towards the field. So we're working on this rotation, but we're trying to get a good little balance in our left leg and staying balanced on our left foot. So just to recap, engaging our core, doing some core exercises, starting crossed over, doing wall throws crossed over, just making sure you're engaging your core. You can just stay right here, stationary, and then you can pick it up and actually throw and release onto your right foot. Then you can do actually medicine ball throws, trying to slam them into the ground, working in the ball at your batting stance or where your hands would be, crossing down, trying to get that ball to bounce where you would bounce that first bounce right in front of home plate, and then do med ball holds where you're in your crossover, but working on trying to rotate that upper body and trying to keep a lot of balance in that left leg. Thank you for tuning in. Make sure you go like this video, comment so I know which video you wanna see next. Subscribe so that you can see the next video. I'm Natasha Watley with this Tasha Tip and I will see you next time.